fellow Americans, today I come and I accept my nomination from the Republican Party as Vice President. I'd also, um, yeah. <laughs> I'd also like to say that I'm very proud to be running with my running mate, Noah Cunningham, who will be your next President of the United States of America. <laughs> if elected, we will bring tax relief to business, which will output more money into the economy, creating jobs and stimulating the economy, and uh, taxes are the foundation of America, which are essential to sustaining our everyday way of life. So we need to stand together and help each other. And because together we will be a, a, a great America. One unit. <laughs> All right, we need to also start by amending the Affordable Care Act and reducing regulations, pulling government out of health care, privatizing it to individual Americans. Americans will not be denied health care. All we're doing is amending the Affordable Care Act and pulling the government out of it um, and privatizing it. Oh, okay, let's see. All right, if you want a better America, vote Cunningham and Biggs. We, as Americans, need to stand together and revive this great country. Um, so please give a round of applause for my running mate, Noah Cunningham. Thank you. I would like to thank the Republican Party as a whole for uh, this nomination and I accept. Um, together we can revive America. Uh, we need to start at home though. We need to start at home. We need to bring back manufacturing jobs to the United States by reducing and making more efficient the regulations and giving tax breaks to those companies that do want to relocate back to these great United States. But we cannot rely solely on manual labor and manufacturing jobs. The economy of the future will not be by exporting goods, but ideas. Two of the largest exporting or two of the largest software companies in the world, Apple and Microsoft, build their products in China and other Asian countries around the world. But where do they um, develop these products? They develop them here in the United States because we have the most brilliant minds in the world. And to continue this, we need to give our children the tools that they need to survive in this future economy, which is knowledge. We need to raise the standards. And I have experienced this firsthand that our schools today do not have high enough standards for, for students. You can just slip through every class you take, most every class you take, um, by doing the bare minimum and not really learning anything. I will work with Congress to raise the standards and try to increase funding to the school system and education so it can grant or give people more grants and scholarships to go to college and having them prepared for college in high school in these middle school years. Amen. But this cannot be achieved easily. We have to make room for this. And where we can make room is national defense. My colleagues, lots of my Republican colleagues, like to talk about national defense, but they do not seem to know where we live. We don't live in Iraq or Afghanistan. We live in the United States of America. And I propose that we raise funding for national defense by shaving down the already bloated budget for military spending so we can put that money towards our future defense for our economy, which is our children and their knowledge and the tools that they need. Yeah. <laughs> but don't mistake what I just said for getting rid of the military or making our, our uh, country weak in that department. We already have the strongest military in the world. We have about five times as big, maybe, as the next two and three put together, which is good. <laughs> but you think this would be good. I think this would be good. It seems that it does not. 
this military power seems to instigate only more war and more frustration through the American people with a 10 year ongoing war and um, being in these countries, Italy, Korea, that we don't need to be in anymore. We fought those wars 50, 100 years ago. I want to pull those people out and bring them back home so they can do their job here and revive America. <laughs> With the revival of common sense policies, we can revive America to greatness. Thank you and have a nice weekend. Right?